YouTube, I'm G Infinite. Today's episode is on Annihilus. Annihilus being one of the most toughest villains out there. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Today is the episode on the Builder figure, Annihilus. All right, guys. So today I decided to do the Builder figure, Annihilus. Annihilus being one of the most overlooked villains. Um, I think he's extremely powerful. Just a bunch of of different cool things about Annihilus. Real quick, I just want to talk about him for a minute. Uh, Annihilus uh, was, came from a life spore, uh, and this life spore um, obviously created this, this, this thing, this, this kind of like almost this insect creature called Annihilus. Now, Annihilus is from another planet. So when you look at Annihilus, um, a lot of things are very different about him. The fact that Annihilus can manipulate matter, um, he can absorb energy, uh, he, he can do it pretty much all. And not only that, uh, this thing that you see in the center of Annihilus right here, that's called the uh, Cosmic Control Rod. The Cosmic Control Rod, that yellow thing you see there, allows him to every time, every single time he can uh, evolutionize himself to be stronger or look different in appearance. And it just fills him with so much energy. And just every time Annihilus comes back into the picture, he's usually either uh, has evolutionized himself to be stronger and quicker and just different powers coming out of Annihilus all the time. Annihilus has been known to fight Gladiator, who's like Marvel's Superman, so you know Annihilus is strong. Um, he's also fought uh, Nova, the Nova Corps. He's gone against, I mean, you name it, he's gone against them, and he is a villain and a, definitely a contender. Um, aside from Thanos, Annihilus is definitely one of those guys uh, that can definitely bring the battle to you. So getting into this figure by Marvel Legends, uh, this is a builder figure that came out by Hasbro. One of the uh, one of the first builder figures dropped by Hasbro, and it was done right. He looks amazing. I'm gonna get into. Uh, this small little battle scene. Here you see Blastar. He's obviously, uh, Blastar's in the background, but here you see Gladiator being defeated. And then, of course, Nova from the Nova Corps there. Of course, the list goes on on every single opponent he has fought. Uh, Annihilus has fought the Hulk. Uh, he has, uh, he's, he's fought Ben, uh, who we're talking about the Thing from Fantastic Four. So the list goes on and on. But let me go ahead and start. Um, Annihilus. Looking at the head sculpt, you can tell he's some form of insect. Uh, one thing that I noticed is the yellow eyes that they gave him there, which is really, really cool. And then they gave him on the very top of the head there. He has some type of lining pattern there, which is pretty cool. And then getting into like the side over here, looks almost like these uh, side kind of like horns there. And then on the mouth, he has an opening, kind of like an insect opening there, which is really, really cool. So um, looking into the, the head sculpt, uh, like I said, he, it just really cool details there on the underneath the eyes. And then you see right there, the eyes coming out almost like a V shape in the center of the forehead there. So it's just really cool. Love the different colors that they gave him. Here you notice he has like these shoulder pads and they're like in, in a set of three there with spikes on top, which is pretty cool. And then they gave his arms just to kind of bring out the color. They made the arms like almost like a, like a light green. And then this green is very, very different. Uh, almost like a leafy green on top of the neon kind of green. And it has a lot of washes of, of like that black inside the arms. And you notice that there's a lot of lining going across on the arms here. So that's really, really cool. Love what they did with uh, giving him that pink comic book vibe. Here you see like the chest piece is like that pinkish color. Um, and it has almost like a lighter tone of pink as well. Same thing for the hands. And the hands are really, really cool because they do open up. So it's just it's just cool. And the fingers, 
you can close some of them and open them up so you could have them pointing at someone or whatever, however you want to work it. But this Nihilus is a builder figure and it was it, it was one of the coolest builder figures because it did come uh, in the wave with the Gladiator Hulk and some of those other characters. But one thing that I like also is the wingspan. We can't forget about the wingspan. If you notice back here, you see the wings in detail and the wings have just this really cool opening there. Uh, they have a lot of detail, a lot of lining, and they even have that black on the inside of the wings, as you can tell. And it's just really, really cool. Love the, the kind of like the spikes that they gave it at the end. You see that coming out there. And they made him look very vicious. Another thing that's cool is the legs. If you're looking at the legs, they have that green, but they also have a lot of black in the legs. And they have like almost these different patterns. You see the lining there going across. And then over here, it changes up a little on the calves. It has almost like a li little different angle there. So very, very unique touch. You're looking at the footing there and it's also cool. On the back of the foot, there's almost like a heel coming out, which allows him kind of to stand up. Uh, and position himself pretty well. Uh, I definitely have only one issue with the figure, aside from the fact that it is amazing. It's very difficult to stand because the wings kind of weigh him down a bit. So you might want to uh, position him in a way where the wings kind of do more of the work so it's easier on the joints. Um, like I said, he is a big contender. This is a Nihilus, and I mean in all... The different shapes and forms where he continues to uh, evolutionize himself uh, as being a a top villain in the Marvel Universe. I definitely would get this Builder figure. It is one of the best Builder figures out there. And it's also uh, one of the first figures that Builder figures that were done by Hasbro. So this is the Annihilus Builder figure. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video on the Builder figure Annihilus. Um, hopefully we'll see a lot of him soon. He definitely is a contender to go up against the Avengers if they're going to drop another Avengers movie after Endgame. So, uh, definitely subscribe, hit that bell for the next notification, and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G-Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.